you always feel like there's something more, more to who you were created to be, more to the beauty of the world that you live in? And how do you truly really tap into that? Well, that is a topic that author Ian Morgan Cron has He's basically dedicated himself to this. Mm -hmm. He's an expert in this field. He's joining us to talk about his latest book. It's called The Story You, an Enneagram Journey to Becoming Your True Self. Hello, Ian. How are you today? Good morning to you. Uh, I got to be honest. I only know about this because of my wife, Ian. Uh, she has taken, answered these questions. She's, got, she's a number one, uh, but she's not sure what wing she is. Mm -hmm. But for those who don't know, what exactly is an Enneagram? So the Enneagram is a wonderful personality typing system that teaches that there are nine basic personality styles in the world, one of which we gravitate toward and adopt in childhood as a way to cope, to feel safe, to protect ourselves, and to navigate the new world of relationships in which we find ourselves. Now, I mentioned that she's a, a one, okay? How many different categories of personalities, how many boxes are we putting people in here? Well, first of all, we don't put people in the boxes. In fact, what we do is uh, we tell people about the box they're already in and how to get out of it. Okay. Uh, but there are nine basic personality styles. Wow. Nine different personality okay. styles. And so, and, and so the book, The Story View, talks about the rule that our childhood narrative has on us as adults and the importance of rewriting this narrative. So can you explain what that all means? Sure. Well, I think the Enneagram also reveals that there are nine basic stories or narratives that we craft in childhood that we end up telling ourselves even in adulthood, despite the fact that they are very unhelpful and awful, you know, very self-defeating. I want to learn more about this, uh, this childhood narrative. How about an example of how an Enneagram has in our childhood narrative. Can you give us maybe an example, a specific example of that? Sure, so let's take the Enneagram One that you mentioned earlier. We call them the improvers, used to be called the perfectionists. Um, these are people who uh, craft a story in childhood around a mistaken belief that making mistakes is bad. Now, that story helped us as a little person kind of make sense of the world, but when we bring that story into adulthood, it starts to become very self-limiting, if not painful, and re requires rewriting. That, the rewriting, that, that seems to be something that has got to be difficult. I, I, rewriting your own narrative, how, how do you even start? Great question. Well, you know, uh, in, the, in, the, in the story of you, I map out a four-stage process that can really help people rewrite the story of their lives. And, it's based on the acronym SOAR, which is to see the story, to own the story, to awaken to its impact on your life, and then rewriting the narrative. And um, I'm really excited about the book because I believe that all transformation is story transformation. It's played out beautifully in my life and in the countless lives of people that I've worked with over the years. And I can't help but think of the timeliness of this book with everything that the world has gone through in the past couple of years. Have you noticed kind of a spike in all of that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think all of us have seen the power of story. I think we know about it intuitively. And um, we know that um, we build our identities around the stories that we tell ourselves about who we are. But what most people don't know is they have the freedom and the power to change those stories. And that's what the story of you is all about helping people to do. Now, it says here in the back of this book that you're a priest, okay? And, and, that, and my wife mentions that this is kind of tied in with religion. How, how much of religion is, is part of Enneagrams or is it all science and data? What is it based out of? Well, you know, the word I might use is spirituality. There is a, a, a spiritual component uh, to the Enneagram because it investigates who we are what our inner world is like, and it helps us explore topics like meaning and purpose. And I think those all fall under the rubric of spirituality. And, um, but you can read the book and, and work with the Enneagram in a way that doesn't involve religion or spirituality. It's really up to you. Wonderful. It's cool. all very fascinating. It like is. I said, Todd has the book in his hand right there. So if people are, are interested in, in getting their hands on this book, how can they do that? 
Sure. Well, they can uh, go, of course, onto Amazon, Barnes & Noble. They can also go to my website, which is ianmorgancron.com, or they can visit my podcast, Typology, uh, which as of today has around 20 million downloads. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful information with us, and you have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Well, there it is, Ian Morgan Crum, the expert himself, the story of you, an Enneagram journey to becoming your true self. As you heard, you can go to ianmorgancron.com, the website right there on your screen, or typologypodcast.com to hear more.